Hey beauties, we're back with another video. This one is gonna be this edgy bottom liner type of look. It's actually a recreation of a look that I did back in college and we're just gonna recreate it for you today. I forgot to record an intro, so we're just gonna jump right into the tutorial. So here's a picture that I found of the look that I did in college and it just made me want to recreate the look. And then this is a picture of the recreated look. So I've been having a lot of skin issues, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face all over with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless and conceal all of my blemishes and acne spots. Going in with my Makeup Forever foundation and just buffing this into the skin. So to prime my lid, I'm using this Lancome primer and I'm just going to buff this all over the lid all the way up into my eyebrow as well. Go ahead and just redefine my eyebrow, making sure that the shape is just super sharp and clean. In college, my eyebrows were way more dramatic than they are now, so just to create more of drama in my eyebrow, I'm going to go ahead and conceal my eyebrows with concealer, and this is just one or two shades lighter than my natural skin, and I'm going in at the top and the bottom. And then with my go-to blending brush, I'm taking the color Tease from the Naked 2 palette and using this as my transition shade. I'm going to be applying this in the outer corner in circular motions and then kind of sweeping it back and forth and then I'm also going to use a kind of windshield wiper motion to bring it in for the inner part of the eye. See me blend this color out a lot just because I want it really diffused and not so um, strong and then just circular motions on the outer corner just, just to make sure that it's darker there and most of the color payoff is right there on the outer edge. And then I'm going to use this Urban Decay color in Busted and I'm just going to define my crease and deepen the outer corner right there where I'm feeling for my socket. I'm just going to place this right there also in circular motions and back and forth motions as well. Next I'm going to use this really small domed brush and I'm going to just put in the dark gray color and the kind of taupey gray color from the Nudes palette by Maybelline and I'm just going to deepen the look using these two colors and also later I'm going to pop in a bit of the black color from the Nudes palette as well. So I'm only going to be placing these darker colors just on the outer corner and making sure to blend it into the busted color and I'm only going to go up until the outer C of my eye and I'm also starting it on the very outside so after my eye ends at the corner that's where I'm starting the darkest color. Then with a flat shader brush I'm just going to use the champagne the lightest color from the nude palette and I'm just going to pack this on on the inner corner this very tiny brush I'm packing on YDK just to add a little bit of shimmer and to tie it into the pink lip that we're going to put in later um, and just patting this on the lid. Okay, so to prime the under the eyes, I'm going to go in with NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to apply this to the waterline, the lash line, and also the inner tear duct area. Set the waterline, I'm just going to use this nude beigey color from the Nudes palette just so that it looks a little bit more natural and then I'm going to pop in white only on the inner tear duct area part. With a tiny angled brush, I'm going to go in with the black and gray color and I'm just going to go in the outer corner of my lash line with this and then I'm going to create a line that's angled down as you saw me point out with the lighter gray and the gray color as well, 
towards the inner part of the eye. To get to the tail end of this line, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it in with the outer corner of my eyeshadow as well. So one of my biggest issues with the first time that I did this look was I didn't soften or buff out that bottom line. So I went ahead and did that with the color tees and a pencil brush. Guys, so next is the fun part, also kind of tricky part. So for the eyeliner on the top, I'm just gonna lay down the brush and do a really thin, even liner on the top with a tiny, tiny flick. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna go in more precisely and I'm just gonna be using the tip of the brush and I'm gonna start on the outer corner as you can see and work my way in. And then when I get to the inner part, I use a really, really tip of the brush to flick it forward. That way it doesn't look so thick on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna build up the thickness on the outer corner. I'm also trying really hard to just stay between the white and the gray and, and not to kind of bleed too much into the gray. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a winged eyeliner just following the gray line that we did. And I'm gonna make the eyeliner even on both sides and also buff out the bottom even more. So to clean up a couple wobbles and the eyeshadow on the outer corner, I used a wipey and I put makeup remover onto it and I just folded it into a really triangular tip and just wiped away right underneath the eyeliner. Next as usual, I'm just gonna go in with Foxy as my highlight shade and then I'm gonna apply some mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and concealer, highlight, and contour the rest of my face. I already did underneath the other eye, so that's why you don't see me do it here, but I promise I did both. For lashes, I really didn't like the first look and how dramatic and fake the lashes looked. So for this one, I'm just gonna go in with some lashes that I found from the dollar store and they are Miss Adoro in number 74 and I cut them in half and only put them on the outer corner of my eye and just blended it in with my real lashes. Lastly for the lips, I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips where they naturally are with this lip liner also from another dollar store. It's this nice rosy with a purpley undertone type of color and I'm just gonna pop on some lipstick. This is the same lipstick that I used in the look and it is called Brazen Berry and it's one of the neon colors from the Maybelline lipstick line. And that completes the look you guys. I hope you enjoyed and if you recreate one of my looks just go ahead and tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see. Thank you beauties so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video.